What is going on guys and girls, my name is Venkoth and today we've got the Patrick Ebert player review team of the season version, he came out today at 6pm, I've been playing up until about 9 o'clock and um, I've been editing for the last, I'd say maybe half an hour, so we're here now, we're going to look at his in-game stats, uh, he's got fantastic crossing by the way guys, his crossing is 94 and his curve is 99 and you can really feel that in-game as well, another standout stat is his free kick accuracy, so you guys who are good at free kicks, you are going to absolutely love him, I am terrible at free kicks by the way and I managed to get a couple on target usually mine go out the stands I'm so so bad at them I can't judge the shot power or anything or the curve or I'm just really really bad at them uh, he's got medium medium work rates which is I'm not going to lie it's a bit frustrating he could play left mid right mid or centre mid and I kind of you can kind of tell that he'd be quite good at a centre mid he reminded me a little bit of Valbuena a little bit um, we're looking at his physical stats now guys and his acceleration and sprint speed is actually a total lie he feels like 90 pace there's one in particular clip where I think it's in the attacking movements part of the video um, he just bombs down the line and he completely outpaces the right back I'm not sure what, who the right back was I think it was someone or the left back should I say I think it was like Chris Ghetto or something like that some pacey little winger so you're going to see that in a minute. We're going to look at his shooting now. And he had a tendency to shoot with his left foot. He's right footed. But a lot of the times. Do you know when you get up to a shot. And you think right he's going to hit this with his right foot. And all of a sudden he hits it with his left. It's so frustrating. But luckily this guy has got four star weak foot. So that means he can actually pull off some good shots with his left foot. That one there was a bit unlucky. He hits both posts. I hit both posts that game twice. It was so annoying. There's another left footed finish. His curve is 99. So um, a lot of these are going to be finesse shots. I, if, if I see that someone's got a good curve. Then I will use it to my advantage. And try and get it around the goalkeeper. He's also got I believe 99 shots power I think it was 99 which again is insane you can do you can do uh, laced shots you can do um, finesse shots and he will basically get it on target pretty much every time we're gonna look at his passing now guys and I've included both the um, through balls and simple passes as well as the crossing I've, I've put them all into one big fixture because at the end we're gonna look at his corners because his corners again is another fantastic trait that he has uh, dead ball situations this guy is pretty much spot on I didn't actually get a penalty once while using him but from the right midfield role we did score at least four goals of him so I was quite happy with that uh, usually when I review a right midfielder or a left midfielder I tend to go for the assists more than anything in the build up play because it, when I use a 3-5-2 formation which we have done today I don't tend to score goals with the wingers it's always the strikers and the cam just because I like to play the ball to the wing and cross it in I'm that that's just my playstyle basically. I don't know if that's going to influence how I feel about this guy towards the end. You're going to have to see. Um, you could potentially play him in a right wing position. You could potentially play him at a right forward position. I personally think he would work at right forward quite well because he's quite physical as well. He's not he's not a little weakling like you. Could, if I could compare him to Aaron Lennon or someone like that on the wing. With, they're quite weak and you won't see him doing many defensive tackles like this. He does some big challenges, guys. And he's quite strong as well. There's another clip coming up where he outmuscles someone and gets the crossing. Or it might have already gone, actually. I do apologise. We're going to look at his corners now. And I scored four goals from the corners he took. And four goals that he set up in seven games from corners for me isn't too bad. I, I did quite enjoy that. Uh, I haven't put one of them in, actually. Um, I, I'm going to mention now, actually. I've uh, I used Inform Jacko for two of these goals because... I was getting so frustrated with this game and I got a red card and it was my striker Adrian that got sent off so I subbed in Jacko for him and he actually scored twice from the corners so if you've got somebody who is really good at corners we also had Tim this season Varane at centre back he's actually scored one I believe I'm not sure if I'm including it in these clips though uh, we want to look at his attacking movement now and what I mean by his attacking movement and this is this is the thing that annoyed me this is the only reason it annoyed me is because I had to do it if he was attacking work rate was high then he wouldn't have had I wouldn't have had to do it in the first place I've been doing LBA passes and he does run up the pitch and he does time his runs very well it's just annoying the fact that he's far down the pitch you have to physically press LB and A to tell him to get up the pitch this is the clip I was on about guys he completely outpaces the left back just leaves him for dead there's nothing wrong with this guy the only problem I could probably think of is medium attacking work rates and that's me being picky so guys I give him a 9 out of 10 paid 30k for him definitely worth the coins and if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.